Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Uh, my name is uh, David Breer, and uh, I will be uh, hosting this Bright Talk talk. Um, a few elements of uh, housekeeping just to uh, get us uh, get us started. Really, um, the topic uh, that we'll be discussing today is uh, banking disruption. Um, we've seen a, a huge amount of debate around fintech startups and uh, their impacts on the traditional banking sector. Um, and what we're going to do is dig it a little bit deeper in terms of what uh, fintech companies are doing to really give them the edge over some of the traditional organisations. Um, so if you're if you're not in the right place, then apologies, but um, that's what we'll be talking about over the uh, the next uh, 50 minutes or so. Um, in terms of our panel, uh, we have a, a great lineup for you here. Uh, we have Chris Gledhill, who is the CEO of Seco Bank. Uh, we have Paul Rippon, who is the deputy CEO of uh, Mondo, uh, and we have Eugene Danilkis, uh, who is the CEO of, of Ambu. Um, all of these guys have got a, a really sort of varied background in terms of uh, not only the, the work that they're doing at the organizations where they work now, but working client side at organizations like AIB or Lloyds Banking Group uh, into consultancy spaces like Accenture. Uh, so I think the, the opinions from these guys is uh, very nicely rounded for this debate. In terms of questions, uh, there'll be a sort of a 10 minute slot at the end for, for questions. So if you want to either use the uh, questions in an audience uh, piece on the right hand side of your, your panel, or if you want to, you can by all means uh, tweet us and use uh, FinTech Summit as the hashtag and we'll pick those up. So to, to, to sort of uh, introduce the panel and then kick this off really, um, if we can get uh, Paul, do you want to give a, a bit of an overview about Mondo, uh, sort of what you do and, and how you're sort of establishing yourself in the market? Sure, certainly. Uh, thank, thank you very much for that, David. Uh, so I'm, uh, hello everybody, I'm Paul Rippon. Uh, David, if you want to click the slide on for me, that'll be, that'll be great. And mm -hmm. I'm one of the, the co-founders of Mondo, and we're building a bank from scratch. And that includes our own in-house core technology platform. Mondo began about a year ago with the founding team's frustrations with banking that we find slow, expensive, and unhelpful. And I'm sure many people on the call today have a story about the service that you do or don't get from your bank. And so the Mondo team decided that we wanted to do something about that. And we're united in our passion to build a bank that really takes advantage of the supercomputer that we all carry around with us. And that, of course, is our smartphone. In my view, what differentiates Mondo from our competitors is, is actually quite simple. And that's that we're trying to be incredibly open and build a bank and a product with the help of our customers. And so we're, we're on a journey to, um, to help our, our customers and manage their day-to-day -day finances. And what we're building is what we intend to be the best current account in the world. And I've shared with you on screen there just a little bit about what it looks like. And you can see integrated maps, retailer logos, and a stream of useful and friendly transactions. Uh, it's very early days for us here at Mondo, um, but we're out there at the moment with our Alpha, uh, which is a prepaid card and app. We have about 800 users at the moment, and we have about 30,000 customers who've already signed up for us on the waiting list. Um, so that's that's me. I'm Paul, and, and that's Mondo. Wonderful. Thanks very much, Paul. Uh, Chris, do you want to uh, give a bit of an overview of um, of yourself and, and what Seco uh, are doing? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks, David, and thanks, Paul. I'm still waiting for my invite to uh, to join Mondo. Ah, <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Any time you like, Chris. Just uh, let, let me know. Brilliant. Yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so Seco. So we so we're we're also uh, a challenger in this in this banking space. Uh, we're a pre-licensed challenger bank. Uh, we are born out of a similar frustration with banking. Uh, we we really thought that nobody's really done some proper disruptive banking uh, changes in banking for a long, long time. So. When the internet came along, we just took all the paper that was in banking and just shoved it into into HTML. And then mobile came along, we just squashed it all even smaller and shoved it onto little screens. But nobody's really taken a big look back and and, and queried why do we even have some of the the stuff that we have in banking today? Things like loans and mortgages and cards and payments. And there's actually nobody's really taking the disruptive technologies that we have today and applying that to banking and seeing if we can't do not just a technical reinvention but a conceptual reinvention. And that's where we started with, with Seco. We basically started with a completely blank piece of paper 
and just said, well, what, what is the point of money? What is the point of banking? Uh, and just built it up from there. Uh, so what differentiates us? Uh, a few key points. So uh, firstly, we're not just all about money. Uh, we are a bank that combines both money and data. Uh, so you can deposit data just like you deposit money. And I don't mean deposit data like stick it on a USB key and put it in a safe somewhere. I mean you can, uh, your data becomes uh, a living, breathing thing just like money. You can lend data, you can spend data, you can invest your own data, and you can earn interest on your data. Uh, we're also creating a bank around uh, distributed architectures, so blockchain-like architectures where there is not, there's not really a central bank in a cloud or in a data center. Everybody just gets their own bank on their own phone. And the bank, all the phones together uh, make up the banking infrastructure. So uh, that works like when your phone is plugged into charge, your phone literally becomes part of the banking infrastructure and starts processing payments on other people's behalf. Oh, and finally, the other thing that differentiates us is around APIs, uh, application programming interfaces. What we're doing is we are, um, we are putting, we're giving every customer really their own API. So we're, we've decided that actually customers are the ones which own their money and their data, and really they should be the ones in control about who gets access to their data. Uh, so we're giving everybody their own programmable interface, uh, which manifests itself as uh, complete control over who gets access to your money and data and how, you, uh, how your digital, I guess, financial self manifests itself um, to, to your friends and colleagues. Uh, so that's what Seco is about. Wonderful. All right. Thanks very much for that, uh, that Chris. Uh, so Eugene, can you uh, just give us a, a quick overview of uh, Mambu and, and what you guys are doing in the market, please? 